Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to have a little chat about how children see the world and how we as adults sometimes misinterpret how they see the world. And that's one of the things that drives my work is helping us understand the choices our children make. And remember, children are children with an underdeveloped prefrontal cortex to make good decisions. And what they're learning is how am I supposed to navigate, you know, the, the right and correct things to do or less hurtful and mean things to do is because of the guidance that we give them. So sometimes when our children do something that we wish they didn't include, try to eat other people or throw things around, sometimes that's actually not planned. Like a child doesn't go, oh good, how can I really make my mum angry right now? Or how can I hurt this child because I couldn't get what I want? It's just simply a, an instant reaction to an unmet need. And it's the unmet need sometimes that we miscalculate and we misinterpret because we call it bad behaviour <clears throat> or we call it being naughty. I want you sometimes, when something comes up, um, I want you to try and kneel down somewhere in the space near your child and see if you can see the world through their eyes. So often their ability to manage losing, sharing, uh, being considerate, taking turns, waiting, are really through the eyes of a child developmentally appropriate that they don't master it. And our job is to see it through there and reassure them that that inability is because they're children. But we could take a breath and that next time this happens, take a breath and then let me see if I can do it a bit better. So what I often see is us as adults going, that child is doing that deliberately to another child. And I want us to rethink about that. The second thing I want you to do next time something really irritates you as a parent is pause if you can. That's not always easy, but if you can, pause and think, does that remind me of anything that ever happened when I was a child? I had a beautiful sister, perfect, gorgeous, incredibly well behaved, compliant, never got into trouble. And she irritated the poop out of me. And there were times that she frustrated me because she never ever got growled at. And I do remember once an awful experience that happened, but I got so frustrated because she absolutely never got into trouble. And I was always pushing down boundaries because I'm a rooster, um, that I actually picked up something and threw it at her just out of this big sense of frustration. And I remember when it happened that she looked terribly distressed because she really did love me, even though I was a revolting little brat. And it was almost like through everything else, I think she understood that I was frustrated with the way the world was for me. So I want you next time, when you see something happening with your children, try and see it through their eyes. What unmet need? And know that the number one unmet need of all children is feeling unloved, invisible and disconnected from the people they love. That's always a great place to start. And that's all from me today.